Here we have a slow rock ballad. It's a second trumpet part, but don't be fooled by that uh, because the second trumpet part here is actually playing the lead part. As you know, Maynard is playing the solo. So don't let the sun go down on me. If you look at the very beginning, it's not really that horrible. In fact, this one never really gets that horrible um, for the lead part, which is played by the second trumpet player. But still, you have to have more than the high E flat that you're going to see there on the first line. That was the first line and a note. For the second trumpet part on Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. And it went up to an E flat. If you can play an E flat in your practice or an E or an even an F, you're going to really have a lot of trouble with that line. Because you need to have at least, at least a double A flat. So you can be nailing this without killing yourself and playing on the skin of your teeth. Another example why you need to have more range than what you think. That's a little lick in Birdland right after measure S. And then of course you got the beginning. Hey, we're looking at the first part of the first trumpet part for spinning wheel. And you know, you have two measures of rest. This is a rock piece, obviously rock, funk, whatever you want to call it. And look at the first couple measures for the first trumpet part. You're gonna be in it on a high C sharp. And lordy lordy, if you just have a high C sharp or high D as your max range, you're going to have a lot of trouble playing some of these fun rock and pop charts. Uh, there's no question about it. We're not even talking about the super tough, top tier lead trumpet stuff. Um, um, actually, this does get tough. The spinning wheel Maynard's version does get tough. But I'm just talking about this first line, for example. To put some meat on the bone and have some sizzle, you have to have a lot more than a high C sharp or a high D on your B flat trumpet to be able to play stuff like this. You really do. Otherwise, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to be out of tune. You're going to be wondering why you're using too much mouthpiece pressure. You're going to be having endurance problems. Another reason why you need to have more range than what you actually have to play when you're looking at a piece of music. So I just did that the first couple of measures there just to show that you do have to have more range than just what's with with on the page, otherwise you're going to run into problems. A demonstration and explanation why you really have to have more range than what you think. It's amazing how many students I get in my course and they'll tell me that they have a high D or a high E flat and when I ask them, well, what typically do you have to play in your big band or your rock band or your orchestra or your community Broadway shows, and when they tell me high C's and D's, I just kind of cringe because um, that's tough, folks. To have a high D max range and you're playing up to high D in your ensembles, I mean, that's a recipe for disaster and pain and torture and bad endurance problems, everything. you got to get your range up. I hope that some of the examples I provided, even to you classical players, <laughs> I, I provided an example of the Hummel and also the Valdi Concerto. I mean, it really makes sense. You have to get your range way, way well above what you are required to play in your daily performance and rehearsals. I'm running some very good Black Friday specials that are going to conclude um, this evening. I'm going to try to get this up. Um, if I don't get it up in, up in time, I'll put a note below, look below, and um, I've had a couple people request that I extend it until tomorrow or Monday. So depending on when I get this video up, if it doesn't come up until mid-evening, that doesn't give a lot of people time to react to this particular video. In which case, look down the notes and I might extend it until tomorrow. But really, uh, my programs, I'm cutting some of them almost in half just for this weekend, just to get you involved so you can see what all the buzz is about, why people are getting good results. So TrumpetSizzle.com, I'm Kurt Thompson. 
And look down in the description below this video, you're going to see some links where you can click on and start learning how to play first trumpet, lead trumpet, in a rock band, swing band, jazz band, or if you just want to up your game for concertos and pick work. Um, you got to take advantage of these programs now. They will resume at their normal offering price uh, probably late tonight or late Monday night. You'll have to look down in the description to see what I decided to do. Bye bye for now. Subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.